In this tutorial, we're going to show you how to use so-called aggregate function in SQL. Um, some common aggregate function include count, counting how many um, record in in a query. In the result of the query, the maxima, minima, sum, and average. Um, max, mid, minima, sum, and average apply only to numerical columns. So let's look at some example here in Access. Um, let's do this. We're going to create a query. We're going to count, for instance, identify student. Let's try to count how many students we have in this student table. So that's, we choose student number because that's the primary key. And we just say total. This allowed us to choose some of the aggregate function. By default, when you choose total, this access show you group by, which we'll explain later. Um, if you drop this down, then you're allowed to choose some aggregate functions such as sum, average, minima, maxima, count, standard deviation, variance, and first, last, etc. So let's choose, uh, in this case, count. If we run it, we're going to see six students um, in the table. If you only want to find out how many students that you have in the state of Virginia, this is how you're going to just say choose stay. Instead of group by, you have to choose where to specify it as a criteria. You may have noticed I, the we did not select the show checkbox here because this is just a criteria. We don't want to show the stay. We say the stay is equal to VA. So if we run it, we're going to say 3, which means I have 3 students who live in the state of Virginia. And if you go to the SQL view, we can change the alias here, which just say count of student number. We can change it, use single quote. We can just say uh, number of students from Virginia, from the state of Virginia. If we run it, now the title is a little bit more meaningful. Number of students from Virginia is three. Okay. So make sure you change this criteria. It's total row value to where, and then specify the criteria. You can certainly say equal to Virginia. Okay. This is the answer. Okay. So you can certainly save this query. We're going to deselect this query, create a new query, and then play with other scenario. Let me choose instructor. We want to find out the some statistic about salary. In this case, we can choose total. This select, select total. If you want to find out, say, the average salary of all the employee in the instructor table, run it. That's the average salary. If you want to find out the maxima salary along with the average salary, then you can choose maxima, run it. So that's the maxima salary, and this is the average salary. 
can you can choose other like minima salary the total salary let's just do a choose salary and say sum which is the total salary run it so that's the total annual salary that you pay um, to all the employee in the table let's look at um, another scenario in this case we're going to learn how to use a keyword called distinct so I'm creating from the instructor table I'm interested to find out all the titles that we have out there in the instructor table so I choose title if I run it and find out that four titles show up but there's a duplicated row for teacher so in reality I have only three distinct title in this instructor table how can I let the query just show me the three distinct title if you go to view SQL view up front you type distinct if you run it only three distinct titles show up if you go to the design view you couldn't find that distinct keyword anywhere okay. because this is a special case in access that the distinct keyword has to be entered under the SQL view you cannot enter it under design view let's save this query and just call it distinct title close it if our query is the following um, find out how many distinct title that we have in the instructor table then what we need to do is to create a new query against the query that we created earlier like distinct title this is example that we're query a query so this is a this is not a table this is actually the query we just created earlier I want to find out all the title if you run the query against the query defined previously we got three distinct title but our in our query we're asking about how many distinct title so we can just say total and if we count the title we're getting three so together we're um, we find out there are three distinct title in the instructor table and this is the second query you can save this second query and just say uh, distinct title count query so whenever you run this query you're going to find out the number of distinct title in the instructor table and this query is built on top of another query that we just define and save this is once again an example of query the query okay so this concludes our basic introduction of how to use aggregate function